Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how we will uh, how uh, we will create a batch and then how it will work. So, and once it, uh, we will create a batch, how uh, we will invoke from our anonymous window. So basically, I already we have seen what is batch apex and what is the basic structure of batch apex. So I'm not going to discuss again all those things. So you can go back to my previous video and then watch it. So let's begin with creation of batch apex. So here I have already created this batch apex. So what you need to do while creating a batch apex, you need to implement a database dot batchable interface. And this database dot full is uh, meaningful when you want to fetch a particular uh, for the uh, state of any particular transaction or anything. So then you need to use the database dot stateful. So in my case, it's not required. So I'll just remove it as of now. And yeah, in the first method that is a start method, we will only uh, we are fetching a contact. I just put the limit uh, just to make it short. So I'm just put, fetching the contact. And then what we will do on the contact, we will update the last name uh, with this uh, um, variable. Uh, just I'm giving it updated on today's date. So yeah, so let it. Uh, so once we are uh, doing it, we're storing in a list. And then what we are doing, we are updating it as using a database dot update as I'm using database dot update, because if any transaction will fail, any record will fail, the whole entire transaction will not fail basically. So it's better to use a database dot update uh, rather than using a update. And after update, we are getting the result, right? So we will store a, a success result or error message, whatever uh, we are getting it. And in the finish method, that is the third method of batch apex. Uh, we will as of now I'm not doing anything but we have to keep it to run our batch successfully because without finish method you can't uh, execute your batch class it will give you an error so in finish you can put a uh, email sending the email to contact owner once the uh, batch will update contact will update so this is the entire batch class so basically just you need to keep in mind the three method you need to keep, uh, give start execute and finish that's it now I have already saved this batch class from the debug anonymous window. Uh, we will use this batch and then instance and uh, we will uh, call this uh, batch database dot execute batch. And here you can give uh, the second parameter is basically optional. You can give it like uh, uh, 200, 100, whatever the uh, uh, size you want to give. By default, it will take 200 uh, record per transaction, but you can give it whatever you want. So as of now, I'm keeping it uh, uh, blank. So it will take by default 200. So I will just execute it. Yeah, so once it will execute. So I will just ex uh, query the uh, contact. We are last modified. So if you see last name is updated with all this five record for this, it got updated. Last name got updated with this. So that is about the batch apex, uh, what all method we have and how we are executing. So in the next video, we are going to see how to schedule this batch and we will write a test class for this batch. Thank you so much.